Good morning. I still have a raspy throat. I'm leaving Las Vegas. Leaving Las Vegas. Anyway, um, okay, so I'm going, uh, look how pink the sky is. It's all pollution. Okay, so we're going to the airport and my friend's gonna follow and then uh, drive me to the airport from where I'm parking so I don't have to take the shuttle. So, okay, goodbye Vegas. Let's go to the airport. All right, I'm at the airport. The van has been locked up. Uh, Chris just dropped me off. So I'm now going to go print out my boarding pass to see if I was number one to check in. <laughs> I always do that. So then I'm gonna go over to the uh, C gate, I think. I don't know whether, or the C gate, whatever. I'll go to the B gate and then I'll go to Coffee Bean and get something to drink. And then I'll just go park up in Southwest until it's ready for me to go over to um, Spirit and then get on the plane. So yeah, it's about uh, 6.30, 6.45 right now. Very early, very bright and sunny, so that's good. So let me go get my little boarding pass over here. All right, so I was ninth to check in, even though I checked in right as it turned uh, 9.04 yesterday. So, okay, so let me keep going. And my throat needs to get better. I don't like being sick like this. And I'm not even sick, there's nothing wrong with me. I just have a raspy throat, which is not at all very sexy. So, okay, let's go up to level two gates and let's go get something for breakfast because I'm hungry. All right, I'm back in Houston. It's humid and hot, so let's find my Uber or my Lyft, one of the two. I think it's gonna be here in about two minutes. And then I'm gonna go home and go get some groceries and relax for the rest of the day. I'm gonna Zoom with Harriet and then I'll probably just uh, watch some YouTube or Netflix, you know, kind of chill and be still. Good morning. I am home and I'm slowly getting better. Um, so it's weird being home. I woke up last night, had a wacky, wacky dream. And I woke up and realized that I wasn't in my van and I wasn't at a friend's house and I wasn't in another state. So it's occupational hazard of, of traveling. Um, anyway, so it's good to be home. I've got a lot to do this weekend. Uh, I'm off to the chiropractor. Um, so I think this is my last session for a while. I think I'm okay. Um, so I'm just gonna get adjusted. They put me on the decompression machine where they stretch me out where I still haven't gotten any taller. Although I am 5'8", so I'm pretty, pretty tall, I guess. I don't know. Um, average uh, but yeah so um, I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to um, just come home and work on videos and the next leg of the trip and work on ordering some things for the nonprofit and just basically veg on the couch it's gonna be another hot humid sticky day which it was yesterday when I got home and I went to bed really really early I actually took a dribble nap in the afternoon where you like lay on the couch and you dribble when you wake up you're like oh just took a nap um, and then I called Harriet on zoom and then right after that about 8 p.m. I just went straight to bed so I woke up this morning I feel fine I'm just gonna take a few days off um, tomorrow um, I'm not gonna work out this weekend so yeah tomorrow's got uh, it's a Harriet day and then um, I've got Monday uh, is travel day again so then I'm back in uh, back in two weeks and then I'm here for five weeks so it's kind of the last leg of the trip I'm not sure what I'm doing there's a couple friends that will still be in Utah a couple that have gone to Colorado now that it's too hot in the south um, and then there's a few that are in Arizona but Arizona is also going to get pretty hot soon I think it's already hot um, but I want to go to like the Tonto National Forest I drove through there in uh, 2021 on the way to Phoenix when I was doing um, the uh, the Mighty Five and down to the Grand Canyon and then through Phoenix back to Texas. But I have to go to Albuquerque. So I think what I'll do first is I'll go through Flagstaff, um, which I don't like, but I'll go through there and I do want to go to Walnut Canyon National Monument. I've been like five or six times to Flagstaff and I've never been to the National Monument, but there is really good BLM right next door that I stay in. Um, so I think I'll do that for a day um, and then I think either meet up with friends there and then make my way to Albuquerque or um, I don't know I got to figure it out because I got to call the bike shop today and make sure my bike is done it's been there for over a month so they should have fixed the, the spoke I know that they got the parting so I got a text but I didn't get anything saying that they had finished it um, so I do need to get that bike um, and take it back and now that I I've, we've taken the latch off the door that's really great that now like the door will always open it'll never get stuck hopefully <laughs> so we'll see I don't know I don't know if that was the solution the um the sensor was put back in place but it's still not touching so I think the uh the actual other part of the sensor 
is probably uh, damaged just from opening and closing the door like 7,000 times. So I may just need a whole new electrical system. Not, not, not bothered by it. I mean, I can still trigger the alarm when I'm inside. I can still like trigger the geo fence and make sure that nobody can like drive off with the vehicle. I can disengage the ignition. I just can't set the actual alarm alarm um, when I'm not in the vehicle because it still opens the door. So uh, because it thinks that the side door is still open. So I don't know what we'll do, uh, but the latch is taken off. So that's good. Um, that's the main thing. So I, I do need to be able to get that door open and closed, especially for like boondocking and to get the bike in and out. Um, so yeah, so I need to go get the second bike sometime next week and then make my way back uh, to Texas. And I think I'm going to go through San Antonio uh, because I've got another friend that will be working there for a few days. So just kind of like, you know, mooch talking. <laughs> it's like, can I just get like driveway parking or hotel parking? Um, but yes, yeah, so I think I'll do that. And it's just going to be an easy two weeks. I've done everything I wanted to do in Utah. Well, not everything. There's a lot of slot canyons that I need someone that has a four wheel drive. So uh, next time I'll be able to go out and do those. And I wish I had a few extra days in Utah to go back and do those. Um, but I mean, I did a lot. I mean, I did a ton of stuff and it's just been fantastic. I really, really wanted to do that trip last year, but I had to come back to Houston for really important family stuff. Um, but now, yeah, so now I'm gonna finish off the last two weeks, get the van back to Texas, and then uh, I'm home for five weeks. But I, you know, I, I'll have a few trips here and there in between. Uh, probably, um, but not in the van. I think I mean, if I go in the van, I'll be out to like Austin or something, but it is getting so hot here now. Last year it was freezing cold, like it was cold. And then it had like a horrendous, horrendous summer. It was like 108 degrees almost every single day for the summer. And I was like, every time I came home every two weeks, I was like, this is horrible. I need to go back to snow. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'll do. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I do have to drive the van back. I was like, well, maybe I could just like end up back in Albuquerque and fly back but I do need to get the van back I don't want to spend another week driving the van back home I need to get it back by May 3rd so yeah just April is just kind of flying by but I'm going to go to the uh, chiropractor right now it's 8:45 uh, a.m. I'm going to go do that and then um, just go home I've got really nothing nothing else to do outside I've already got my groceries yesterday I've got you know all my toiletries and stuff um, yeah, so it's it's good. It's, it's easy coming home. I just come home and I, I do need to like fold clothes and like tidy up a little bit. Um, but I can do that, you know, anytime. So I just want to plant myself on the couch. Uh, I did have the same upper respiratory infection back in October where I tested negative for everything as well. And they just said, oh, you just have an, you know, URTI. And I was like, oh, crap. Um, and it's worse because it's like, just throw me a freaking phone. Like, tell me there's something wrong. They're like, no, no, you just got your common you know, your common sore throat. So I do, do have some doxycycline um, that, that uh, I had from October. So that's supposed to get rid of it. They didn't give me it when I went to the VA. They just said, oh no, like um, just go ahead and uh, just take some cough suppressants. And I was like, well, the cough suppressants didn't help me one single bit. So I can't even get in this parking lot. Oh, the, uh, it didn't help me one single bit. So <laughs> I'm getting run over by Fiesta delivery trucks. I don't know what that guy is doing. The supermarket right here and there's all these like 18 wheelers blocking the entrance. Um, but I digress. Um, yeah, so um, the, the doctor in uh, Salt Lake City at the VA was like, yeah, just take these like little, you know, capsules for cough suppressant. I'm like, okay, well, none of that actually helped. I'm still coughing up a lung and coughing up marbles of mucus. So can you give me something a little bit stronger? And I don't do pills. I don't do medicine or pills. So I'm pretty sensitive to it all. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, take, you know, I, I took it this morning, I already feel a little bit better. So I think I'll take another one later and then just do that for like three days and that should be fine. So um, the reason I still have leftovers is because I don't do pills. <laughs> so um, I took it like twice in October and like for one day, like two doses. And then I was like, I don't wanna do this anymore. So, but it might, it may help. If not, I can always go to the VA Sunday, um, Sunday after um, afternoon and then go in there and because uh, I have to fly out I have to get up at 3 a.m. on Monday morning and then I'm gonna go back and stay at my friend's house in Vegas on Monday night um, just so I don't have to like get right on the road because I get in at 8.30 to Vegas so I'm gonna get, get in get the van from uh, hotel parking which was fantastic and it's only like eight dollars a day and then I'm going to oh yeah they're open um, eight dollars a day and then I'm going to um, 
what is it? Um, and then I'm just gonna stay with my friend for a day, maybe go to lunch. Uh, he's working, he's at the, the Beatles love show. So I'm gonna go back over there, do another backstage tour. Um, I won't film it, cause it's just like, you already saw what's back there. Uh, and the show's closing on July, I think July 1st. So um, that's really sad. Everyone's just kind of like, oh, the show is closing after 17 years. And the only reason it's closing is because they're going to replace the entire stage area with a power plant so they can power uh, the building of more casinos. So it's not closing because they have no, no people watching. I mean, they pretty much almost sell out the show every night. Um, but they, uh, yeah, they said, yeah, we, we just need that space so we can build a power plant. I was like, that's crazy. That's so sad, but it's such a good show. And they, they did a refresh a couple years ago. That was really good. And they took out some things and added some things, um, added some more like um, mechanical stuff and more um, like uh, different, like they used to have puppets for uh, my guitar gently weeps, but now they have like a real cool lighting and stuff. It's it's a good show. And if you're a Beatles fan, it's good. If you're not a Beatles fan, it's, it's entertaining. Um, it's more dancing and clowns and, um, like trapeze and acrobatics it's not like it's, it's one of the only two shows i think that doesn't have a live band um so the other shows have live band but i'm supposed to go see O and some other shows uh they're going to take me because they can go and get me tickets for it because they all work for cirque so i'm going to go try to see a couple more shows as i come back and forth to vegas through like my travels because i always have to fly through vegas um to get to other places on spirit so yes yeah, so i think i'll do that um you know just chill out get some more work done monday and then um yeah, and then just, you know, have some mooch docking driveway privileges again and then uh, be able to leave. Uh, I think I'll leave early Tuesday morning and just get on the road to Flagstaff. So I don't know if I'll go down to Sedona. Um, it's probably going to be crowded. And I didn't know when I was there last time last year that my National Park Pass will actually work as the pass for hiking. So you're supposed to get like a red, a red rock card or something to be able to hike, a permit to hike. And I already did, uh, already hiked Devil's Bridge and I didn't get to do like cathedral uh, something and some other hikes, but Sedona is kind of a madhouse. So I think I'll just go straight to Flagstaff and go find some other stuff to do. I might do some mountain biking. That might be good. Um, I know one of my friends that'll be there has a mountain bike, so we might do that. And I want to do uh, Superstition Mountain for sure um, and go through the Tonto National Forest and find some boondocking. So I just kind of want to hang out in a mountain for a little bit. And then I think I'll make my way back through Almogordo and Rio Duso, um, because I've never been to that part of New Mexico and then kind of make my way back through Texas, um, probably stopping off. Um, there's a couple of state parks on the way that are really good, but I've never been to the Sonora Caves. Um, I've been to Fort Stockton and some other places on the 10, um, but I do maybe want to stop off and do uh, you know, another cave tour. So just kind of make my way back because that'll put me in Kerrville. I can do that mountain bike. Uh, my One of my favorite fast, single track fast trails in Kerrville right outside of San Antonio and then go into San Antonio by the time my friend, one of my friends gets there um, for work. So he'll be there for about a week. So I can just stop off and, and hang out. So that'll be good. And then three hours from there is Houston. Uh, actually two hours from there is my storage unit. And then one more hour to my, to my uh, place. So I got to figure out logistically I guess I'll leave my car at home because then what I can do is when I drop the van off at the storage unit, I'm going to ride my, depending on what time of day I get back, I'm going to ride my bike 30 miles back to my house and then go get my car and take my car back to the storage unit and, and pack up the, uh, um, pack up everything. I don't have to, I don't necessarily have to take everything home with me from the van, just all the essentials like my laptop and, and stuff like that. But it'll be nice to do that 30 mile drive again, ride again, um, which was fun. So I don't know, I'll figure it out. I'll figure out what I'm going to do. Anyway, okay, because if I leave, yeah, if I leave my car in the storage unit, then I have to Uber, <coughs> excuse me, Uber from the airport to the storage unit, which is more expensive than Ubering from the storage unit to my house. Logistics, hashtag. <laughs> but, all right, I'm going to go to the chiropractor right here, and I will chat with you guys later. All right, I'm all done with the chiropractor. I'm going to go to the supermarket quickly. It's a gloomy day. Good morning. It's 4 a.m., and... I'm tired. I had about four hours sleep and uh, voice is still a little bit raspy, but I'm heading to the airport right now. I'm going to go on spirit as usual. So I just only have like literally a napkin to take on the plane with me. Um, but I'm flying back to Vegas. And so I'm going to uh, meet my friend for lunch and then hang out for the day there uh, in the suburbs and then actually in a country club. And then tomorrow morning, hightail it to Flagstaff super early in the morning 
uh, to get out there to uh, go see some other fan friends. And then uh, I'm gonna go down to um, Sedona, Prescott, and then backtrack over to uh, Albuquerque, I think. Uh, but I think I'm gonna stop in a few places on the way. I think I'm going down to Phoenix, actually, uh, to go check out um, the Superstition Mountains, and then uh, go to Albuquerque, and then slowly make my way back to Texas. Anyway, okay, just waiting for my lift. Uh, it's uh, 4 15 a.m. and I would like to go back to bed so I have a three-hour flight so I'll sleep on the plane and then when I get in I've got breakfast with one of my friends uh, near the airport near where my van will be parked uh, and then uh, lunch with my other friend and then dinner with that same lunch friend so <laughs> it'll be a good big eating day so I didn't actually bring any food with me today I'll just eat when everyone else pays for it so okay well I will see you guys when I'm at the airport as usual All right, first thing is to get my boarding pass to see if I was first. <laughs> it's a stupid thing I do. Okay, let's go over here. And by the way, I'm carrying my heels because I'm going out to dinner tonight, so I need to have my heels with me. So we'll put those down there and let me get my boarding pass. Okay, I was number seven. And the lady's like, anyone going to Costa Rica? I'm like, I wish, <laughs> but no, I'm going to Vegas. All right, and now TSA pre-check for some reason is super long. What is going on here? This is weird. All right, I'm through. That was chaotic. It was funny. Every time um, every time the guy in front of me went through, he took off a jacket and he had another jacket on underneath. And he just like didn't understand the concept. You can't wear any jackets going through the metal detector. And so he had to go through it like eight times. I'm like, how many layers of clothing do you have? And then he's like, oh, I'm flying spirit. So anyway. Okay, so let me walk through the other side. And yeah, I gotta go get a Starbucks. It's only like 4.30 in the morning, five o'clock. I think it's 5 a.m. So I board in about an hour, so it's pretty quick. I'll get on the plane and then I'll be in uh, Vegas by 8.30 Vegas time, so 10.30 my time. And then breakfast, so yay. All right. I'm actually gonna miss doing this for a couple months when I have to go home in May. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing for the summer yet. So I'll find out probably sometime, I don't know, middle of May. I'll kind of know what's going on with June, July and August. But anyway, okay, cool. It's funny. I ran into the porter that I used to see every morning when I'd fly through here. And he's like, oh, it's you again. All right. First on the plane. That was quick. Okay. I'm going to go to... Uh, 14C, and then I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I did download a, a movie, so I'll watch something. What the hell is that? Somebody's coffee grounds. <laughs> I don't know. Too early for this shit. All right, I'm out of the terminal. I've got to go get a lift uh, to go to my van and then go take my van to Nissan and then go meet my friend for breakfast so very very quickly it's just I don't want to take the shuttle so my friend got me an Uber which I think is harder than the shuttle I've got to walk like two miles to get to it so it's down here somewhere it's a madhouse though all right there she is I'm gonna go in the back I could probably go in the side actually because the side door does open I still have to climb through let me see if the side door opens if what we did worked when we took the latch off all right good morning it's hot <laughs> it's freaking hot I've got to drop off my little handy dandy sticker thing and let them know that I have left the premises and then I need to go to Nissan. I would like some breakfast. <laughs> All right, here we are. Can I fit? There it's 12.6, I think so. I always hate verandas and things. All right, let me go drop this in and then yeah. All right, well, welcome back Las Vegas. <laughs> Good to see you again. I'm tired. parking lot so I'm gonna park here and walk over to the Mirage to go eat lunch with my friend and there's lots of van lifers and RVs so it's fantastic so yeah I'm just gonna park over here. it's only $20 or I think $23 um, during the week and $25 on the weekend which is fantastic for Vegas I mean there's nowhere else really I can park everything else is you know indoors so let me just get over here and let's go okay cool all right easy hidden gem and I'm pretty sure you can stay overnight here I mean it's like 24 hours for your ticket. So, I mean, I guess 24 hours, whether you're in or ah, in your van or not. 
So anyway, okay, yeah, it's very, very hot. It's 91 degrees right now. This is ridiculous. I'm not happy. <laughs> anyway, all right, so let me go get my ticket. Let's go park in the sun, which is the downside to van life. I've always got to be in the sun for solo. Um, but luckily, I don't have anything to plug in. So yeah, so let me just go and yes, yeah, be good. It'll be fun. I need to eat lunch. I'm starving. So anyway, okay, bye. My friend is 3D printing Beatles keychains for me. That's too funny. They'll be ready in about an hour and a half. That is hilarious. So yeah, this is the uh, props department. All the uh, supplies, all the tools. I feel like I need all those tools to build my van, but there's more umbrellas, lots of umbrellas. And 3D printing, that's super cute. All right, it's stupid hot. Uh, I had fun, I've stayed at the uh, Cirque uh, behind the scenes in the prop shop for like an hour or two got lunch with my friend and then got starbucks now i'm at the mall because i have to damage out my shoes so i've only worn them twice and there's something wrong with one of the uh with the right shoe it's um digging into my foot and actually like like impaled it so i think there's a staple out of uh out of place and it is so hot here right now i'm not liking this i'm looking forward to flagstaff which will be 71 degrees tomorrow Okay, so let me go find it. So yeah, so these shoes, which are fantastic, except for the one shoe that's like destroying my foot. So they said that they can uh, order them, Foot Locker's right ahead. So go to Foot Locker, they'll damage it out and they will order a new pair and just mail them to me because I won't really need them till I get home. And these are just my indoor running shoes. Yeah, I've only worn them twice. And this is from a treadmill, this is how dirty they get. So yeah, let me see if they'll do it here because the other store that was on the strip I couldn't actually find parking that I could fit in. And these malls are depressing. <laughs> it's like nobody here. How sad. Okay. And I need a pair of sunglasses as well. Maybe I'll go to Francesca's and get a pair or Hot Topic or something. Mm -hmm. 